Oh. Hello there! Welcome to Lombardi Labs! I'm Professor Lombardi, and I welcome you to join us during various scientific investigations and explorations. This time, I'd like you to meet Sojo, a cousin of Sojourner, the first robotic rover on Mars. Only this is not... It's not a robot. It's not even remote controlled. Sojo is a puppet. In some ways, robots are mechanical puppets doing whatever the programmer wants to do. Sojo's programmer is puppeteer Michelle Zamora. Most robots are controlled either directly or indirectly, while some of the more complicated ones learn, adapt, and think on their own. But what exactly is a robot anyway? Robot. A machine capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically, especially one programmable by a computer. Okay, so why robots? One reason is that us humans have a natural fascination with mechanical beings, as evident in pop culture. Ugh, yuck. I was getting to that. While those robots were from the past few decades, the first were from nearly a hundred years ago. R-U-R. Rosomovi Universani Roboti. That's Czech for Rosom's Universal Robots. That's the word nerd alert. And you may have guessed it. The word robot itself is from this Czechoslovakian science fiction story. Uh, the robots eventually rebel and wipe out humanity. Sound familiar? I know so, Joe. It's just fiction. We love robots as much as we're afraid of them. But the main reason why we continue to make, buy, and use robots is simply to make our lives better. As a logical progression in technology, robots are just fancy tools for doing things safer and more efficiently. Whether it is a robot cleaning your floor or pool, robotic arms building machines on an assembly line, or drones for fun and for the military. In fact, the granddaddy of all drones goes as far back as 1944, the V-1, nicknamed the Flying Bomb by Nazi Germany. But perhaps the most important type of robots are the ones that save lives, not take them. Some robots are used for delicate maneuvers during operations, while other robots are used to find and dismantle bombs so that nobody gets hurt or killed in the process. And some robots are used to search and rescue survivors after a disaster. After these, I would say the next important kind of robotics are the ones that explore. That's right, Sojo, but not just in space. Also remote ice sheets and in our deep oceans. But of course, the farthest and most difficult type of exploration is done with robotic spacecraft, orbiters, probes, and of course, rovers. <laughs> So Joyner, the real one, was the first robotic rover on another planet. Since then, NASA has successfully sent three others to Mars. Curiosity is the latest and greatest doing some solid science. Such rovers are programmed on a day-to-day -day basis. They're not really self-aware or sentient like us. Programming, or coding, is writing ordered commands for a robot to simply follow. But perhaps the ultimate kind of programming is for artificial intelligence, or AI. This is a very complex and layered programming where a robot can learn and adapt to its surroundings. One might even become self-aware one day, a lot like us. This is like when the puppet Pinocchio turns into a real boy. Oh, I, then it wasn't a dream. Oh, I have become a boy, a real boy. And ever since RUR, humankind has feared AI. But is it something to fear? <laughs> Only time will tell. Tune into our next episode where we will further get into programming using Lego Mindstorms. <laughs> oh.
but you're just a puppet. Ow! Until next time. Ouch. <laughs>